Hey, what's up guys? My name is Frank DelVito. I'm the drummer for the band Sick Revenge. So I've been playing for about three years, um, and you know, like I've heard of you know like considerable amount of bands and drummers, and the three main ones from uh, that I've definitely learned and picked up from was Mark Costello from Bury Your Dead. They're a uh, they're a modern metal band. They have uh, you know I heard him and he has you know like really intricate beats and fills and you know like something you wouldn't normally think of to be in metal. You know he definitely you know like is a change from normal metal music. Um, he definitely you know is one of my main influences when I play drums. Another one is um, Vinnie Paul from Pantera. You know, obviously he was the one that like, drove a lot of the metal where it is today, and he definitely you know, like, was a really, really good drummer. In fact, Mark Hostel actually was influenced from him, so I guess that's how it kind of works out. But, and another one which is totally different is Gas Lipstick from him. And the name is really weird, but they're from Finland, so I guess that's what you got to expect. But, um... I probably, I probably insulted some people when I said that, so let me take that back. <laughs> and that wasn't an insult, it was just like, you know, like, people from Finland are interesting. So my favorite bands, number one is definitely Barry Dead. I love them so much, like every single one of their albums. My favorite one was It's Nothing Personal. That was the last one before Mosh and Roll. Uh, that was before they got back the old singer, but... Nothing Personal was really, really good. It had a lot more melodic value to it, and it was really good. Uh, my second favorite band would have to be... Uh, that's a good question. Second, you know, because there's so many of them, and it's, like, hard. But second favorite band would have to be Day to Remember. That, that's for sure. Uh, you know, they're... I don't listen to their type of music that much, because a lot of them sound the same, but they were, like, you know, one of the main ones that, I guess, came out with that, so that's why I like them. Uh, uh, Heart. I forgot what the album was called. I think we should redo that. <coughs> Wait, oh, for those who have Heart, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, for those who have Heart, um, that was a really good album. I think I love like every single one of the CDs on that one. That's how you really know you like a band when you can listen, when you can safely say you almost love almost all their songs and they don't sound all the same. That's when you like really know that you know you're in love with that band and you want to marry them. Um, who else? Both of my Valentine was really good too. Uh, but th those are like my main three. Alright, well, the first time I played it was in 10th grade. I was at a school township. I don't know why the fuck I was nervous, but you know, I guess peer pressure and whatnot. But, uh, I think, you know, the main advice to give to you is that. Chances are, if you screw up, no one's really going to notice for the most part, unless something really big. I mean, drums you kind of notice more, because you're the one that holds everything together. Whoopsies. Whoops. And, um, <laughs> but, um, I think, you know, I say just don't sweat it. If you screw up, like, once or twice, you know, that's what practicing is for. Definitely practice a lot at home. A lot at home. And, um, you know, so that when you go to the stage, you don't really have to worry about being nervous because you've had that practice and you've, you know, had that time to sit down, think of fills, beats, and everything else, and, you know, you go out and kick some ass. So, I mean, I, I listen to a variety, but it doesn't really go outside of the rock genre, really. I mean, my guitar sends me some jazz and some, uh, you know, rock, jazz rock, stuff like that. But, um, you know, like, I have stuff ranging from him to Lamb of God, you know, Boston, stuff like that. But the best thing that I do for practice, which I think helps a lot, is I'll put my iPod on shuffle, just shuffle everything, and just try to play along to whatever comes up. I mean, it's a good way to, I guess, expose yourself to different kinds of, of music and, you know, different kinds of playing, rather than if you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to practice metal all the time. I think it's a good way to, you know, go out of that area and, you know, venture into jazz and, you know, like, lighter stuff that you have that you've never really thought of playing before. And that's normally what I do. And other times I just sit in front of my TV and practice rudiments, stuff like that. And then that's still a work in progress, but it's going good. Watching Spongebob while playing drums. What's wrong with that? Alright, my name is Tony Wang, and I play bass guitar.
first started playing the bass, I learned the most generic rock songs I could find because I wasn't that, I didn't explore music too much. Which, so some of those examples are probably Smoke in the Water and Enter Sandman. Just generic rock songs. <laughs> Uh, the first instrument I play is probably, is, not probably, it is the upright bass. A really big bass, it's a really big instrument in case you guys don't know what that is. <laughs> and, like I said, it's just crammy because it's really big. It's the same thing as electric bass. It's just You're really <laughs> big! What the fuck really am I supposed big. to say? It's really big! <laughs> not anymore. I mean, every beginner is going to get nervous before performance. But it all comes with experience, like the more you play in front of the crowd, the less nervous you're going to be because you know what to expect. My name is Billy Letterman and I am the vocalist, or vocal expert, or vocal performer person. Well, my family members. Obviously, our lead guitarist, Lenny, is uh, my brother. He's a fantastic guitarist, really well versed in lots of lots of areas and lots of technique. Uh, my father was also a uh, professional drummer and songwriter for most of his life. And my mother used to play the guitar. I'm not sure if she still does, but uh, that's my family. Absolutely, I was in influenced by uh, some old records. For example, Permanent Vacation by Aerosmith. Fantastic. They combine blues and rock. It's a big influence for me. Another one would be Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Definitely an influential album in my songwriting career. And actually, a third one that you wouldn't think of, the, the greatest hits of John Williams, who was actually a Sort of a mo he wrote the music for many movies. He wrote the scores. Our song Invasion, I wrote as sort of to be an anthem for the metal youth of America right now. It's, it's a song that I think everybody in the metal community who's young and trying to just be themselves, can, uh, they can relate to this song, I believe. It's a song that, about breaking barriers, a song about flying, and be, being yourself, really. Just going out there and doing your own thing. I am no Sanity. I wrote so, sort of. Um, it's about that dark side within your own mind that comes out now and then, and that's the insanity. It causes you to be insane, and when it comes out, things get wild. What's up? I am Lenny. Um, play guitar. Um, I started in about sixth grade. Um, I don't know why I started, it's really cool. I used to listen to a lot of Aerosmith and Led Zeppelin, and I don't know, the guitar was just something that stood out to me, so it seemed really cool. So I decided to start playing that. Um, some famous musicians I admire obviously, Alexi Laio, um, this is guitar. Uh, he's a really good guitarist. He's a really good songwriter. Um, another famous musician would be Steve Vai. Um, I think I learn a lot from watching him play. And just by watching him play, it makes me want to play more. 
and learn more because he's just really good. Um, also, probably the guitarist that made me want to start playing guitar in the first place, probably Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Um, he's just a classic guitarist. Um, yeah. Yay! So basically when I practice, um, there's a lot of things I do. One of the main things I do is you just play a song. You don't really have to play the song, but you just listen to it and you can solo over it and make your own melodies. Um, it's just fun. You get new ideas just playing different things. Um, also for technique, if you want to learn like a set of certain technique, you just like sit with a metronome and you just like play it slow first, and then you just keep building up the speed with the metronome, and then eventually you'll get it. Warrior Sick Revenge. Okay, so we got a show coming up for you guys. It's a really, really important show. We're doing Battle of the Bands uh, for a spot on Bamboozle. We'll be on a main stage, you know, in front of God, thousands of people, a lot. But, um, we, we, you know, we love to see you guys come out. Now that you've gotten this far past interview into the uh, actual band conference that you're sitting with, you know, we'd love to see you guys come out, hear us play. The interview know. was hard. It, yeah, it was. It, it took us a lot longer than it should have, let's just put it that way. But, um, you know, we'd love to see you come out. I said that about five times already. We like to have fun on stage. Yeah, we have fun on stage. You know, our songs even, are fun. Even before, before we hang out with our, you know, with everyone that's down there. Yeah, we'll come yeah. out. Yeah. You. We're, we're not one of those obnoxious bands. Like before we go on, we actually hang out with the people that. Yeah, we do not think we're better than you, because you are probably are... just better than us. But we don't need to go there. <laughs> no, no, we don't. We don't we need, need to go I'm there. Not, I we don't need say, to go I'm there. saying we're, we're equals here. There. We're equals. Yeah, we're on okay. the same okay. level. Okay. Level. Oh, level. Same level. Like a, like a field. Same level. For all we know, these people who are watching this right okay, now how about we shut the could up? be... Uh, okay, so it's going to be at the Chance in Poughkeepsie, uh, February 4th. Uh, we're going to be on about 7, 7.30, but we'll make an event and we'll create, you know, like, the time and whatever. Information we'll to follow. the time? Yeah. Um, I think so. Tony didn't say anything, so I think you should say something. I've been saying. He's been sign languaging it. Messages. Well, can you not distract them? Because if they're distracted, they're not going to hear what I have to say. Well, oh, sorry if you're <laughs> too distracted. We don't really All right, to what he has recap, to say. Recap! Recap! <laughs> Go to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the show. All of you. And yes. forget about that voice crap. We uh, rock. We will see you there. Sorry. Lots. Um, lots, lots of fully, I mean, we're going to be practicing this. January, we're going to be practicing our asses off, but it'll be worth it. Next time you see us, we'll have no asses. They'll be practiced off. No, I'll have an ass. He'll have an ass. I'll have an ass. He's going to eat some Reese's before the show. You know, get a nice ass. <sighs> nice ass. A nice ass. Reese's. I love it. Creating asses since... It's How Hershey's. are we doing? Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Land. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Maybe we should do that again. Bye. Bye.